<laughs> okay, welcome to another edition of Adopt a Pet Furry Fridays. Uh, we are here as always with the lovely Laura, and today we have a very special pet. This is Swanson. Now, you will notice that Swanson is a polydactyl. Look at his little feet. Yep, he's he is got special extra toes. Oh, and he's loving. Okay, so let's talk about Swanson. So he is a special boy because he was actually paralyzed. His back end was completely paralyzed when he wow. was when he came into the shelter. I actually picked him up. I was on an animal control shift, um, and we got the call that they thought he had been hit by a car. Um, and so he was. He was completely paralyzed from about here down, dragging his back end. Um, so he went to the vet right away. Little man. I know. And uh, and it turns out that there was it was like an impact injury, so that you know the vet felt it should heal within time. So it, it actually did. He's walking. Mm -hmm. It took about three weeks for him to get to this point. Okay. Of walking. He's still a little bit bow-legged because, I mean, we don't know exactly what happened. So... As I was saying earlier, he's like the John Wayne of the feline yeah. set. He kind of walks with a swagger. I love it. Yeah, and he's got a little... He had a rough start because he's got a little missing top of his ear, which is t typically from frostbite. Okay. So okay. Now, his injuries would make him seem older, but looking at him, he doesn't seem like he's a very old little kitty. No, we feel like he's a very young cat, probably between like one and a half to two years old. Yeah. And he's super affectionate and loving. Definitely, yeah. Yep. He's already been nuzzling me. Yeah. Um, okay, so, all right, the adoption process, as always, uh, you cannot just walk in and see a pet. You must submit your application in advance, so I always include, you know, the relevant hyperlinks yes. in my little articles, making it very easy for you to get there online. Otherwise, Otherwise, you can go to 962 Second Line East and pick it up in paper copy. You submit your application and then you are contacted to set up your first date with the new love of your life. Yeah, and with Swanson, he's still not neutered, so we do have to have a final follow-up appointment to make sure everything's where it should be with his little back end okay. um, and get him neutered at the same time. Right. So, but right. he's already had x-rays and that done, and it, it, it looks pretty good. So Okay. Now, are there any concerns around what type of home he should be a part of? or He doesn't seem to have any problems as far as like maneuvering. He jumps up on like cat furniture and that that we have. We give okay. him access, like physical therapy time, okay. so we give him out time from the cage to, to you know stretch his legs and that and he doesn't seem to experience any pain or no anything well, there's like no that. sensitivity there was a, a significant kind of injury at the base of his tail as oh, well okay. which is healed right over and it doesn't Aww. cause him any discomfort little man um, and he has like no litter box issues which can sometimes okay. happen with spinal Good. injuries he's uh, we did initially but he couldn't really he was dragging himself around yeah um, but now that he's feeling better everything's <laughs> as it should be well sure if you if you're paralyzed yeah it the was litter heartbreaking box watching 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 him try to get, like, he's like, I know I can do this. Aww. Still try to get to his litter box. He was a, he's a good cat. He really is. And as I say every week, you know, if my place was bigger, I would take him. He's a lovely, loving little beast. I, I adore him already. Um, so many ways you can support the local Humane Society. You can choose to make a donation of food, whether kibble. And if wet is your choice, pate is preferred by the feline set. Alternatively, you can make a financial donation. They will issue you a receipt for tax time to confirm your standing as a good citizen. Um, alternatively, if you're not sure you can accept a pet into your home full time, we are, uh, we, well, I, I feel we. like I'm part of the team now. We <laughs> are always on the lookout for um, worthy foster homes to help. Uh, manage the populations in the uh, in the shelter. Ooh, oh, bless, bless you! <laughs> <laughs> to manage the populations in the shelter, yeah, uh, which even, really helps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like even though it's kind of near the end of kitten season, we still do have some some pregnant cats okay. that will be looking for foster homes. Okay, to help. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I mean, obviously, like significant populations can breed disease and whatnot. Absolutely. So we want to help kind of keep them spread out so that we can find them loving homes while they are in good health and uh, ooh, careful, <laughs> careful little man. Okay, so any, any last thoughts, Swanson? He is Swanson. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Laura, I am so pleased as always to uh, get to spend time with you on Fridays. Definitely the highlight of my week. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us.